Commentary done by Diggity Upright Him Corner. We have Dentarg starting, I think Dentarg Swedish, starting as the, I should look that up, Gray Protoss upper right-hand corner, bottom left-hand corner. We have Art of Turtle starting as the Green Zerg. This is going to be on Eclipse and should be an interesting matchup. First of all, I really like seeing PvZ for some reason on Eclipse. And these two guys are very talented players. And honestly, I would not be shocked if both of them advanced out of this group. And on top of that, I would not be surprised if I saw both these guys either in the semifinals or finals. Um, <clears throat> Art of Turtle, his last run, I feel like got cut off a little bit short. I was a bit shocked at that, actually. At the grouping, I think he went out the loser's bracket. And I was kind of surprised because I felt like he was a better player than that. Dentarg, I've seen around. And the games I've seen him play... I've been very impressed with. Looks like he's setting that pylon out front. We'll see if he opts for earlier gateway pressure. I feel like gateway has been more in vogue recently in the PvZ meta, mostly because everything's revolved around that uh, early Hydralisk bust attack, 973, and things like that. Anyway, as far as other things, hopefully I'm not too distracted this cast. I feel, I feel like I would be remiss if I did not point out the recent news of a lot of... Uh, what do I want to call it? A lot of... Frat boy culture at Activision Blizzard. A lot of abuses. That's really what it is uh, around Activision Blizzard. That's part of what's distracting me in the back of my brain. But if you haven't heard that news, I would say go look up information. And I just feel like we got to do better. And that'll be my last comment in here outside of a separate rant. But I feel like I just mentally need to get that out of here uh, so I can focus on the casting itself. Part of it is I just, I don't know. I love, I love StarCraft. I love the community around StarCraft. I'm not saying it's a perfect community. I definitely think there have been problems. Um, I wish it was a better community in some aspects. Uh, I feel like we do pretty well in certain ways. I like this play right here, Arter Turtle hiding the drone behind until the probe passes so he can maybe get it down, the hatchery down undisturbed. Looks like he does manage to get it down undisturbed. But regardless of all that, there's, yeah, I don't know. There's not just room for improvement. It's like we, we need to improve. And it's just part of the good aspects of the community just feel like they get wrecked by things by news like this and by it just kind of taints the water if that makes any sense so anyway gonna cast this anyway with i guess in the hopes and spirits that things get better over time anyway anyway zerglings out i guess i'll yeah i'm trying to focus on the games themselves extractor planting down zerglings out trying to get that probe down we have noticed that art Turtle likes to play a little bit a little bit lighter on Zerglings to start. We do see that gateway and a Photon Cannon warping. And one thing I have noticed from, and he's already ahead and opted for the third, it's possible we're going to see that early Hydralisk bust play. Extractor is up. No drones moving towards that location yet. Looks like, okay, now three drones surfacing that direction. Natural expansion was built. So this is pretty rad. This is all set up for a potential 973. And oftentimes going forge first has made it more difficult to cope with. Some drones now making their way to the natural expansion. At the main, we already have the eight drones. We'll see if this ninth drone plants down there. Uh, some nice saturation thus far. I do like what Art of Turtle has done because he's like, okay, I got these mineral patches. Let me make sure I get full saturation. He's making his way towards the layer now. This is looking more like three hatch mutalisk, being that we do not see a hydralisk den just yet. But we'll notice he's doing this again while not building additional zerglings to, to really deny any sort of scout. That seems to be Art of Turtle's MO. He's like, I don't care if you scout me or not. I'm just going to play my game and run you over anyway. Looks like we do have a Zealot being produced for Dentarg. He's got that natural expansion up. He's got his assimilator. This He's got a cybernetic score building as well. But having this probe scout information, especially long alive for such a long period of time, if I was going to say there's one weakness in Art of Turtle's play, it's this. It's getting rid of that initial scout and trying to do it maybe with, uh, I, I don't know, I feel like two another pair of Zerglings might be worth it just to put his opponent in the dark comparatively and I think it's honestly a testament to his skill otherwise the fact that he can still make a lot of these build orders work despite the fact that he's giving full information to his opponent oftentimes so Lair is going to be up and Dentarg has to feel very very confident that he's going up against three hatch Mutalisk and that's going to allow him to go ahead and get that Stargate get that pylon down get the cannons down precisely where he needs to theoretically uh, to go ahead and deal with that attack also Running up, getting this Zealot into the natural expansion. Already has a single drone kill. Another drone having some trouble. And it looks like a Spire is being built. We do have enough Zerglings to deal with that Zealot eventually. But he's already got two drone kills. And it looks like a third or second Zealot is going to this 9 o'clock base. Might be able to get a third drone kill 
overall. The Zergling's getting a little bit separated, having some trouble. That Zealot trying to get back behind this area where he can get better concavity. Nice cutoff there by Art of Turtle with those speedlings to make sure that Zealot can't is taking a lot of damage before he's able to sneak and getting great surrounds to really mitigate this. So only loses a single Zergling in the midst of that micro. He does have that Spire building. It's about halfway up. The second Zealot making the way there. Art of Turtle reacting very rapidly so that those drones don't get sacrificed. However, Dentarg now knows there's a third up. He's definitely going up against three Hatch Mutalisk. And I think with a lot of this disruption, that's going to slow down that mutal nice little pocket he's found here to get that Zealot into. Unfortunately, still only gets one Zergling out of it. Nice little shuffle there. First Corsair is out, making its way across. Spire is going to be down, uh, done in just a little bit, but knowing the timing of all this, again with that probe and with that Zealot harass, he knows he can afford, he's got time, essentially, to kill this initial Overlord and do a little bit more economic damage against Art of Turtle before there's any uh, major harassment or problems. Getting a pylon at his natural expansion so he can warp the cannons in. Does still need to warp cannons in, though. Keep in mind, it looks like he's going for an old-school Bisu build. That Overlord kill has put Art of Turtle in the red. Overall, we got a Templar Archives... Dark Templar building with Citadel of Adun. Fourth hatchery being plopped down. So it looks like he... And fifth hatchery. So it looks like this is a transition after some initial scourge, perhaps, uh, for the air game. To go ahead and transition back to Hydralisk play. After at least denying a modicum of air control from Dentarg. At least making him having to think twice about launching those out. This The Photon Cannon is going to be warping into the main. We don't, we don't see a, a Photon Cannon at the Natural Expansion, perhaps upon seeing the Scourge, because oftentimes when you see Scourge, it's an indicator that the your Zerg opponent is in fact opting for more of a, a long-term strategy in a sixth hatchery already with an Evolution Chamber. And ha Hydra is done. So this is going to be six hatch Hydra into the mid-game. This is a build order I have not seen as of yet. The Scourge getting a bit of scouting information coming around, seeing some additional gateways. I do believe they saw the Templar Archives. There is an Overlord here over the Natural Expansion. We'll see if there's some Hydralisk spilt here preventatively, or if there is a something calling, something along those lines. This tends to be the target for the Dark Templar, and we already see that Dark Templar making its way to this 9 o'clock base. Some Scourge just kind of camped out in the front, just in case they can catch a, uh, over, or a, catch a uh, Corsair or something along those lines. But... Dark Templar making its way in unopposed. The drones see it, so they're going to go ahead and evacuate. But already one drone kill, and this is going to disrupt a lot of mining here. Corsairs moving in. And some Mutalisks actually being built on the follow-up, interestingly enough. The Mutalisks working on the Dark Templar. Second Dark Templar making their way up. So one Dark Templar down. The Mutalisks are just going to sack themselves to take care of these Dark Templar. And it looks like a, another Zelt sneaking through out of the front. I was wondering if that was another Dark Templar. So the Mutalisks sacrifice themselves to kill the Dark Templar to get mining back up. But now a lot of Overlords are going to get wiped out overall. Dentarg doing a great job, doing a massive amount of economic damage to the start here in in Overlord kills. He's forced Art of Turtle to stick up around 42 supply. Now the Scourge moving in. Are the Corsairs going to react in time? It looks like not. Oh, three Corsairs getting annihilated. Great follow-up from Art of Turtle. Perhaps he can sit back and macro a little bit now. There are a bunch of Zealots on the front door. Level 1 weapon's about halfway. We have Zealot leg speed. Oh, sorry, I don't think it's upgrading. Actually making his way towards the Calderon amulet to get some... Uh, it's already been upgraded uh, to get Psystorm. Moving across the Scourge are going to see the Zealots. Now here's the thing. A bunch of hatcheries. It looks like just Hydralisks at the Natural Expansion. I don't know if this is enough Hydralisks to deal with all these Zealots. And there's nothing... There's very little defending this 9 o'clock base. So I would not be shocked if this base gets taken out. Art of Turtle is going to have a lot of trouble dealing with all these Zelts, even with the Sim City here. Scourge wandering up. Not going to be able to provide a lot of support. I'm wondering if they're just on the same hotkeys. The drone's coming off the line to try to fight this. But at the very least, a lot of drones missing out on mining time. I think several of them getting killed here. Pretty I, I take, uh, nice defense, I gotta say, actually, by Art of Turtle. I thought this was going to invoke a lot more damage than it did. Still a lot of drones killed, but all of the Zelts were wiped out. And a lot of drones actually survived somehow in the midst of this, between drone drilling and uh, sitting between the SimCity and reinforcing from the natural expansion. So nice play there. And on top of that, Dentark has lost a lot of his Corsairs. He's lost a lot of Zealots and really didn't take out a hatchery, didn't take out a lot of drones or do anything in the follow-up, and now we've got Hydralisks marching across them, so I feel like that was a huge swing of momentum. Also, I have to keep in mind that Dentarg has 60 probes, and he's still sitting on two bases, so a little bit oversupplied on his probe count for his two bases, and so they're not really, and that's a large portion of his supply. I thought there was a 
larger supply difference than that. He still hasn't been able to secure a third. Actually, canceling weapons one there. I think that was canceling weapons one. Maybe weapons one finished there. Um, getting a okay size storm. He needs to preserve those size storms and make sure they really, really hit. The Corsair is moving out. Actually, a scout. Scout's been built there as well. Interesting play. I'm not sure I like that. Mostly because it's just so resource intensive. An okay size storm weakening some of the hide looks, looks like it only really caught two of them. And the scout moving to the bottom right corner looks like it's going to be able to kill... Uh, I, I really don't like that scout at this stage of things. I'm not sure if that was like I'm going to be styling or a misclick or what, but it looks... Okay, so Corsairs moving up. Want to do some damage with the natural expansion. Maybe get some overlords. I guess level 1 weapons... Or, sorry, there's no level 1 weapons on the air as well. I thought, okay, maybe that makes sense with some level 1 weapons. Some continued side storm to prevent Artichoke Turtle from really getting a solid cap there. Another Overlord going to be killed. Maybe a drone or two. But here's the thing. You need to get a lot of drone kills for this scout to be worth it. Although, that's happening right here. Odd play. So, two uh, two kills. But w between the Scourge, which should easily be able to wipe out... Well, we'll see. Okay, there's some initial hits. The Scourge still not taking care of that scout. Hydralisk spawning underneath. And while all that's happening, Dentar trying to press this front door. And that's going to force Art of Turtle to not fully engage right there. And it looks like the scout is going to be able to escape. So two additional Overlord kills, three more drone kills. And really only lost his forge on the front door. And the Art of Turtle having a lot of trouble dealing with this. He's actually floating a lot of minerals. Uh, as is Dentarg at this stage. Dentarg up to five, six. How many is this? So we got four, eight, nine gateways there, and he wants to set up at the 12 o'clock location. There is a handful, well, two Zerglings there. Should be cleaned up early, but between all that harassment and everything else, this has to be misrallied units. Art of Turtle having some trouble here. Some misrallied drones going to attack the front or do some scouting information. We'll see. Poor drones. Poor, poor drones. But it looks like Dentarg is going to be able to go ahead and grab his third. He's ahead in the overall supply race. He is at, like, kind of an end game probe count, practically, for Protoss. Uh, what that might translate into, if he can get some map control, is very quick, satur uh, very quick saturation on these bases. Warping in all sorts of cannons, but, but is he going to be able to escort his probes that direction? Already has some Dragoons in play. I think he was pre-anticipating some Lurkers. Lurker tech is about halfway finished. Ardor Turtle grouping up some Hydalus to the north. They're immediately getting assaulted by those speed zealots and the dragoons hunting them down as well. Moving to the high ground, might try to re-engage here. It looks like some getting caught a little bit on that low ground, but yeah, just being forced out of that 12 o'clock base. Dentar gonna go ahead and be able to establish that. And now, Arter Turtle needs to start thinking about going ahead and grabbing his fourth. He's got a lot, he's got a lot of hatcheries. I'm not sure he's able to really even produce out of all of these hatcheries as effectively as he might want to, um, given his, the state of his current economy. Losing some Hydralisks the north and just having a, a little bit of trouble getting a cohesive army hasn't gotten the contain he's well behind the supply count this is an army on top of everything else and he's getting chased down back towards his third and he's kind of in a defensive situation to begin with where he needs to <laughs> turtle up uh and try to find a way to go ahead and establish an additional base hydralis is being forced into the nine o'clock the zealots and dragoons don't even need to engage this it looks like they're thinking about engaging this Turning around, going to go ahead and engage Hydralisks coming from the north. Great Psy Storm! Catching all sorts of Hydralisks there. And another beautiful follow-up Psy Storm. An additional Psy Storm obliterating that Hydralisk army. There are just Hydralisk skeletal corpses everywhere. The Lurkers following up. And here's the interesting thing. Lots of Dragoons to go ahead and deal with the Lurkers, but no Observer that I can see. There's the Observer trailing a bit to go ahead and provide some additional engagement. There are going to be some follow-up Psy Storms in a second if these High Templar can avoid being picked off by by these Hydralists. And it looks like, yeah, at least one High Templar dies with a lot of Psy Storm in suit. But in store. In the meantime, 12 o'clock base has been established. A Zealot wandering just to check and make sure no additional bases have been uh, grabbed from Art of Turtle. Art of Turtle, his main's still okay. He is getting that Queen's Nest to move up to Hive. His natural expansion is pretty well saturated. His 9 o'clock base decently saturated. But he really does want to start thinking about taking this base. That's why he's staging towards this location. Dentarg having trouble controlling his unit cohesion right now. It looks like some of them going to the north, some of them moving about to the south. Art of Turtle 
checking that one o'clock base is going to catch a probe that was meandering out that direction and both players finally regrouping the so you got hydro lurks to the north which will really melt through these zealots you do have several high templar thing is is he, he really wants to store those high templar to get maximum benefit and that getting a good size storm there over the hydralisks fighting into this the zealots eating a lot of base damage before folding out and i think this might be uh, a detente you'll have to agree to fight another day in the midst of this though art of turtle going ahead and grabbing that key nine o'clock base to go ahead and keep up with his overall economic output hive is upgrading feels a little bit late uh I, actually it's not that bad for uh, in that hive space level one armor level one weapons comparatively we have i think zero upgrades let's double check uh, never mind level two spines for the hydralisks and lurkers Natural expansion is exposed and getting dived upon. This army is completely out of position, still sitting at the 9 o'clock. And might be able to take out the Hydralist End, might even be able to take a Hatchery at the 9 o'clock location. This is melting. So certainly, at least two, at least the Hydralist End and the Hatchery are going to be wiped out. The drones retreating to the main. And this might be GG right here. We have Hydralisks pinning in from behind. They're eating a lot of Psystorm as they're trying to engage. And honestly, this is a lot of Dragoons to deal with these Lurkers. And I don't think Art of Turtle has any form of counterattack. And I don't think he has enough production where he can fend off this very formidable Protoss army at the natural. So catching that army out of position. Some good size storms. Almost catching the drones on retreat. But it's going to blow up the Hydralisk instead. And it looks like Dentarg is in position where he can just march right up into the main. Take that hive out as it's spawning. And there's GG from Art of Turtle realizing that, yeah, he's he's got nothing there to try to defend and fight that back so game one going to dentarg scout pretty creative play it's not some, something you typically see i thought it was not going to pay off but it looks like it did pay off i'm still not entirely sure about that uh overall but uh but i don't know it, it was a, it's a fun game to watch i'll, I'll give it that <laughs> it's fun when scouts end up out there i almost feel like that was a little bit of showboating it was like oh, i'm gonna show up i'm gonna put out a scout because i feel like i can win this game with this i don't know uh, i'll have to ask dentarg about that later if i ever if i uh, run into him anyway hope you guys enjoyed it let's move on to the next match